very best of September 2024. That's what I'm going over with you today. Hello friends. I'm glad that you're here with me. If you're new to my channel, my name is Melissa. I'm 56 years old and I've been on YouTube for almost nine years now and I absolutely love all kinds of beauty content, hair, makeup, skin care, and I love fashion. I throw in a little lifestyle and homewares in there as well. So if you're interested in that, I hope that you do take a second and subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the bell reminder so that you can be reminded whenever I upload any videos. Now, one of the things that I found is this top, which I absolutely love. I love the length of this top. I love the asymmetrical detail on the neckline right here with the buttons. I just think it's so darn cute. I love everything about this top. The best part is it is kind of a sweater weight, but it's not heavy and it is super duper soft. I mean, this sweater is so, so soft. I'm in love with it. I absolutely love it. The other thing that I'm loving right now are these adorable little earrings that I got during Prime Day sale and they are so cute. They're little bow earrings and they're in gold. I just thought they were absolutely adorable. So I wanted to share those with you. And I also wanted to share this beautiful watch that I got. It ha has enamel pink in there with the gold on it and it's so pretty. And it does have extra links in it so it's a little bit bigger. This was one that I got not this Prime Days but last Prime Days and I just think it's so pretty. So I wanted to share that with you. And don't forget that all of the makeup that I have on and everything will be listed and linked below for you to be able to find that really easy. I actually do have a number system, which you probably saw on the screen already. And what I do is I go ahead and put a number up on the screen that corresponds with what I'm talking about at that moment. Just remember the number and then the product and the link will be next to it. And you can shop that way if you'd like to. Now let's get into what I was absolutely loving. I have a couple of skincare things that I got that I was really impressed by. The first one is from Naturium. This is the Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF of 50 Broad Spectrum PA++++. This is a great one. It is very dewy and glowy and I really appreciate that. When the heat gets clicked on, my skin dries out even more than it already is and I already have dry skin. See how nicely that sunk into my skin? It's just a really good one that doesn't mess with my makeup. I love it under makeup and I love how moisturizing it is. And this is a good size. It's at 1.7 ounces. So it's a little bit more than the traditional one ounces that we get everywhere else. So I really have been enjoying this. Another one that I want to highly recommend, and I've talked about this before, but every single time I start talking about my favorite eye cream. It's a little bit more expensive and I remember that this one from Beauty of Joseon is every bit as good. This has ginseng and retinol, not retinol, O-L, retinol, A-L. So that's a retinoid that is a little bit more gentle than trentinoin or retinols and it also is a little bit more potent than a retinol, not than the prescription trentinoin, but it is more potent than a retinol with an O-L. And this one also has all kinds of other ingredients that are great. Adenosine, arginine, all those kind of things are in here. This is a great eye cream and it does attack those wrinkles that I talk about all the time that I've had on my lid. Now I substituted this in for my regular eye cream. I didn't notice any negative changes in my eyes. I noticed that continual improvement, that continual overturn. So this is a great one to be able to have that is not quite as expensive as the Dermatology. I just think it's fantastic. I might even put it in a dupe video where you could buy this, not that type thing. I also wanted to tell you about this product right here. And this product I'm pretty darn impressed with. Now I went looking on Amazon for a conductive gel after I got my zip because the zip halo conductive gel is wonderful. But after you go back and you get it separately from the bundle of the zip, it's a bit expensive. So I found this one and this, this gal that developed this wanted to find a primer, a gel primer or a conductive gel that she could use with her new face, her zip, any of her microcurrent devices that needed the conductive gel. But she said the same thing. It was way too expensive. So this is one that not only conducts, but it has all of the good ingredients in it. And I've got her pamphlet right here. Hyaluronic acid, gold foil, aloe, leaf juice, niacinamide, um, 
sponge seaweed extract. I don't know exactly what that one is. Um, Centella Asiatic extract. You know, that is very calming. Portulaca extract. This one is a plant also that brightens skin tone and reduces the damage caused by UV. Vitamin E, collagen peptide. So it's not collagen, it's actually the peptide. Allotonin helps with shedding, shedding of the dead skin cells. So it has just a ton of really great ingredients in it. She also talks about that when you're using it and you've used it and it starts to kind of dry up a little bit to just spritz your face with water. So I thought that was a great little tip on the side that this is a water conductive gel. So that's really good. But instead of putting more gel on as you're doing your microcurrent, you can just spritz with water and kind of reactivate that gel. So this sinks in really good. You don't need to rinse your face off after you're done if you want to do the rest of your skincare or if you want to do makeup or whatever. I was so glad to find this. I got sent this in PR and from Le Monde Gourmand, this is a fragrance line that I have absolutely fallen head over heels in love with. Okay, this is their new one. And this one is called Confetti Doris. I know I'm completely, you know, bungling that up. But this smells like a white cake with just yummy ingredients so you get the vanilla if you're a vanilla lover i think that you will absolutely love this fragrance it smells like vanilla a little bit of gourmand in there this is just a yummy yummy fragrance and what i liked about this one i have gotten the peach one and i've gotten the chai latte one which i highly recommend both of those but what i thought about this one was it lasted a little bit longer and i just i really like it go look at the notes on it because you're gonna find I think that this is one that you're gonna love if you are a vanilla lover and you love that warm fragrance for fall and winter. This is one that I fell in love with immediately. I was really skeptical because I thought this is gonna be a little bit too sweet, but even though it has that sweetness to it, there's an offset in there. And I, yeah, it's one that I was really impressed with. I love that these aren't so expensive that you can't touch them either. I think they're about $25, which is unheard of for about an ounce of the Eau de Parfum, which is what this is. Also, I have two different foundations in here. And of course, I've talked about the Easy Blur from Huda Beauty. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It goes on well, it spreads out well, it never shows any texture on my mature skin. I do have a lot of discoloration through here. It does cover everything up. It's very lightweight. I would say that this is a medium coverage foundation and it wears a very long time. You can build this up if you wanna do two coats. This blurs out all your imperfections and yet at the same time, your skin does show through if you want it to and if you want to stick with that thinner coverage. Beautiful foundation. I know it's been all over the internet, but I can attest that it's good on mature skin. Now, I was also reading an article from Allure. Lots of times they will say the five best foundations for mature skin. And a lot of times they'll be all high end. And I like to test drugstore, as you know, but I did want to test this one. And I'm so glad I did from Chanel. This is called Lay lace beiges i know i'm saying that wrong but basically it's supposed to be a healthy glow foundation for hydration and long wear okay first of all i have that on this side right here so i put the two on so you could kind of see i feel like they were very close to the same but i do feel like this one is a little bit more glowy than the huda beauty i actually do feel like this one might cater a little bit more to mature skin this is the most beautiful spreading foundation. It goes on like a dream. There is never anything to hardly work with. I just buff it in with a brush and then pat it with a damp sponge and it is gorgeous. And one pump of this will do everything. And again, give me that very natural look to my skin that I want without it being cakey looking or even throughout the day, it even settling or anything like that. I think this is one of the most beautiful high-end foundations and I think it's one that if you've been looking for the perfect mature skin foundation and you're okay with shelling out a little bit more because it is a little bit more expensive, this one might be your dream come true <laughs> because for me, it is one that is flawless every single time I put it on. It doesn't matter whether I wear it with a little bit more coverage 
or whether I shear it out a little bit more. I find that it perfects and it stays on all day and it is so easy to work with. Also, I wanna tell you about the NYX Powder Louder eyebrow pencil. Remember the old eyebrow pencils that we used to get, like the ones from Revlon or Maybelline or whatever? Okay, those were so easy to work with. You didn't have to have a steady hand and you know, you're doing the little fine hairs and stuff. Yes, I know that that is really popular, but I'm sorry, I can't do that. My hands shake and I don't have enough power in my hands to do that. So this is called Powder Louder because it acts like a powder going on in a pencil form. Super soft, so you are gonna need to set this with something. This one is in ash brown, but it just creates a very natural looking brow without having to baby it at all. You do have to sharpen this up, I don't have a problem with that, but a lot of people like the mechanical ones, so keep that in mind too. But this is so very easy to work with and it acts like a powder, so it's a softer look than using one of the gels or anything else that you might have used in the past. Also, if you've ever watched Sabrina, if you've never watched Sabrina, you need to go watch her, she's fantastic. I love this gal, this redhead has my heart, not only because my my granddaughter has the prettiest red hair, but Sabrina does too. Every single time Sabrina does a look, she uses this Wet n Wild Creme Brulee single eyeshadow to set her eye primer or concealer or whatever she puts to take care of discoloration on her eyelids. And I finally bit the bullet and got this. I think it's like a dollar fifty or something like that. It might be two dollars. So easy to work with, and this makes the most beautiful canvas to start your eyeshadow with. And if you use a regular powder, that's not a problem. I just thought that this is really nice to have. It's small, it's compact, and it's a really good powder to be able to just set down that eye primer. So definitely try that if you've been looking for something that works really good to keep the eyeshadow primer bright before you go in with your eyeshadow. This is the lip liner that I'm using today, and it's from L'Oreal, and it's their Age Rewind. No, it's their Age Perfect, excuse me. Anti-feathering lip liner, and this one is in Bold Orchid, and I am in love with this color. Oh my goodness, I love the pink undertone in here with a little tiny bit of purple. It's so pretty, and what I did is I just outlined my lips and filled it in a little bit on the edges, and then I used a product that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But this is creamy, it's easy to work with, and it doesn't settle into my fine lines. That's why I like it. This is also one that you have to sharpen, so keep that in mind as you're using it. But I do really like the texture of these, and I think I'm gonna get an, another color or two to continue to try, but this color, this orchid color, who is so pretty. I did try these new lip vinyls from the Ulta collection, and these are gorgeous as well. And these are Ulta Beauty Lip Lacquer. These are so gorgeous. So let me show you the first color. This one is called Dynamite. So you're getting that high gloss with the lacquer part of it, but it stays a long time. And then the next one is called what? Sultry. This one is kind of a bluish purplish color. And this one's really pretty as well. Not bluish purplish. Lilac with a blue undertone. Let's say that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds way better. And then this one is the nude color that I got and it's the one that I put on with that lip liner. And this one is called Foxy. And this one just goes so well with so many different colors. It's got a pink undertone. It's kind of a pinky nude, medium pinky nude for me anyway. Might be lighter if you have darker skin than I do. But these are great. They last for hours on my lips. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about them is that just putting them on a little bit in the middle of my lips and good to go. And they blend so well with this liner right here from L'Oreal. Also from Ravi Beauty, have you been watching the most adorable girl, Allie Glines? She's just adorable and she came out with blushes and I've been wanting to get her lipsticks and I've been meaning to do it, but I just hadn't. And when she came out with blush, I'm a blush nut always. And so I had to try her blushes. I will say that these are some of the most beautiful blushes I've ever seen, and here's why. You know, the blushes that are coming out on the market right now, we have to be so careful sometimes with them because they're so extremely pigmented. These are a baked formula that is still pigmented, 
But at the same time, you don't have to baby this. You don't have to, you know, think, am I getting too much on at once? It's not like that. These are truly a beautiful blush that just looks gorgeous and it looks like the most beautiful flush on your skin. So this one is her most neutral one. This is gorgeous. It is just a very softened pink. This is your everyday blush. It looks absolutely beautiful on. I loved baked formulas anyway. I think that they stay on really well. Sorry, the name of that one is called Paradise on that one. And then her next one that I have is called Daydream. This one is a little bit more on the pinky peach side. So she's swirled a pink and a peach in here and it almost looks like she has a little bit of lavender put in here. So this one goes on a little bit lighter on your skin, but it can be built up. And all of these actually can be built up. Her third one that I have is called Oasis and this is the brightest one that she has in her collection. This one has a fuchsia tone to it and it definitely has some purple just swirled in there. So that's the brightest one that she has and it kind of has that just fuchsia pink in there. I know that these are a little bit more expensive, but this kind of a pot, this size of a pot is going to last you forever. And definitely check these out if you've been wanting to try some of Ravi Beauty's support Ally Glines. I think that she is one of my favorite YouTubers as far as in the younger generation. She's just very easy to watch, very soft spoken, and yet she gets excited about makeup like I do. So I really love her line and I'm going to definitely be picking up some of her lipsticks to give those a try. But I wanted to swatch these and tell you that these are very, very pretty on and I think that she hit it out of the park. And then I also wanted to share this purse with I got during Prime Days. Uh, it's purple, you guys, it's purple. And I was so excited about that. And I love this woven texture of it. This looks so classy and so high end. This is the medium size, by the way. I wanted to get one that wasn't huge because you guys know I like a medium size purse. So inside it has the dividers and it has a zipper pocket in the middle and then a zipper pocket on the back and then where you can carry your cell phone or your sunglasses right there. And it has a zipper on the back. It has the rope detail right here that I think is so cute. It does have the strap that you can put over your arm if you'd like to that way, but it was purple and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a purple purse right now, which I don't know why, but I don't have a purple purse right now. And so for the fall, I thought this would be so much fun going into the fall and I definitely wanted to show it to you. And then I also wanted to show you these boots that I got during Prime Day. It's actually, I got them right before Prime day because I knew they weren't going to be on sale, but I thought these boots were so adorable. Now, the most adorable thing about these boots is the back of them. They're laced all the way up the calf. I did show these in one of my videos and I absolutely love these. I think that they're so cute. They are a higher boot, but you can wear these with leggings. You can wear them with a skirt, with your jeans, whatever, tuck them in because it is a little bit wider on the calf right here. Um, if you do have a, a wider calf, these might even work well for you. They have these in all kinds of colors. They did have it in a purple and I was so tempted, but I went with gray because it matches more things. So I had to hold myself off. They have a gorgeous purple and they have a gorgeous red in these. So if you're looking for a really fancy, cute boot for the fall or going on to, into the winter, I think you would absolutely love these. Comfortable to walk around in. I didn't have a problem walk around, walking around in them and I'm not crazy about a super high heel, but I really like these and I didn't care because they were so darn cute. Now lastly, I wanna to talk to you about this candle warmer lamp that I got during Prime Days. This thing is so pretty. I love the aesthetic of it. I love that it, the glass on it is very high end looking. The other thing is that these candles, they keep their fragrance so much longer because you are not burning that candle down. And the other thing is, is that this has where you can put the setting of the lamp or the light on low, medium, and high. And I do have to put it on medium to go ahead and melt that wax okay. And then you can put it on high if you want more fragrance in your room. The other thing is you can just use it as a lamp. And that is really neat too. It, it gives a lot of ambiance to my room and I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. I love the black on it. I love everything about it. And I was so glad that I found it during Prime Days. And I think it might even still be on sale because even after Prime Days, I did get one for my mom and she loves it as well. 
well and it was still on the sale price so hopefully fingers crossed it'll be on the sale price for you too that's it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy seeing everything that i was loving for the month of september and i did put a little bit of the first of october on here because of prime days but i wanted to share those with you as well but i hope you did enjoy this one today and i hope that you give it a thumbs up as you're on your way out of here please take care of yourselves i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video love you much bye bye